It's impossible to make a new programming language now. Because if you came up with a new programming language, you're not going to have a big enough code base of code out there for the LLMs. And nobody's going to program with a language that ChatGPT and Claude don't know how to help with. As far as like the landscape that JavaScript was for a long time, where a new tool comes up, everybody loves it. It's really cool. Everybody's using it six months after it launches. And three months after that, there's a cool new tool that everybody's moving to. That was horrible, <laughs> right? I mean, every time you start using something, a new thing came out. And like, oh, you have to start over. <laughs> Lots of people do start over. So every time that happened, we ended up getting a better tool. So I think that's fine, but it was painful. I can't believe you're still using that thing from March of this year. Like, If you come up with a really cool web framework, there is so much React code out there. Anytime somebody asks you know, an LLM to make just a simple little web app to do something, it's going to be React because tougher now for a cool new library like React was when it came out. So are the LLMs going to slow down progress? It'll slow down getting dramatically better tooling and libraries. If everybody's instinct is just to go to an LLM, they're going to get the boilerplate code, but it's going to work. So as far as like actually implementing your idea, probably a win. But are we going to get really cool new tool every year? Probably not. In conclusion, I want you to subscribe.